Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how to do Humble Warrior. I recently got a question from a student in class about this shape and I thought it could be good to bring here on the channel so you all can have access to it. We are going to use, I'm gonna offer you an option to try this shape with a strap or a belt or a scarf or anything that you honestly have there in your house that look like this. Um, so if you have any of these things and you wanna grab it, go ahead and do it but here we go. So humble warrior. This is how you usually see this shape in a class. Some teachers will guide humble warrior from a stance in a warrior two, bow forward, and some teachers will guide it from warrior one. So you have back foot in a 45 degree angle, front toes pointing forward, front knee bent. You interlace the hands, clasping the hands behind you, broaden up the chest, take up space on the spine as you breathe in, and with the exhalation, you bow forward and down inside of that front leg, right? So here you are, humble warrior, reaching the knuckles up, head is pointing down, shoulders are up, and this would be your shape, which is quite a lot. It requires a lot of the body, right? So let's start to build this shape from the ground up, starting with your base. In Warrior One, a lot of times you'll see teachers saying, you know, try to align your front heel with your back heel, but this can be quite a lot if you're a beginner or I don't know, if you have tight hips which is my case, for example. So I always like to widen up my base and see how that gives me like a bigger space to feel more stable in the shape because it is a shape that requires a lot of stability as well, right? So widen up your base if you feel that that's gonna give you more security to be in here. That's point one. Point two, coming to the shoulders. So you're going to clasp the hands back behind you. If for any reason or whatever reason, your shoulders are tight, which is completely common, I'm gonna show you a few options in here. So first one, hands are gonna clasp back behind you as you reach the knuckles down, broaden the collarbones, and that's option one. Option two, you can either choose if you wanna hold your opposite wrists, opposite forearms, or opposite elbows, okay? If you choose any of these three options, remember that you still want to really preserve the openness of the chest. So you're not holding behind the arm, but then, you know, letting the elbows come forward. Elbows are still reaching back as well as your shoulders. And the third option that I'm going to give you is to use a strap. So the strap is going to come behind you to kind of feel the gap in between both of your hands. And this way you can still have your arms extended behind. You can still have your shoulders open and go ahead with that. So choosing whatever option you wanna in here, you can of course take a little bit of time, pause the video to test out and see what works for you. But from this second step, which is the shoulders, we're going to the third, which is the bowing forward. For the bowing forward, you wanna kinda like hinge at your hips back and then lean your chest forward taking up a lot of space on the spine in here until you bow inside of that leg. Crown of the head drops down. Hands are reaching up towards the ceiling. And in here, you stay. As I said in the beginning of the video, you don't want it to have your chest or shoulder resting onto that leg, onto that front leg. However, if you are a beginner or if you just struggle in the shape in general, I have literally nothing against you practicing the shape using the support, using your front leg as a support for your chest as long as you commit, you know, to little by little taking your weight off that front leg. As always, be very, very compassionate with your body. Your body is capable of doing so many amazing things, but the first step to be able to really access all that potential is to really respect and honor your body just as it is right now at this point. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to like and comment down below what was your favorite part, as well as sharing with your friends so that they can also benefit from it. Thank you so much for your presence in here, and I'll see you on the next class.